child protection is a responsibility of everyone. All of God is word, and then we shall restore people's lives, we shall restore the life of the father and the mother, then we shall have restored peace at home. We see a lot of harm being done to children today. And because Satan knows that when children are left alone, they are vulnerable. That's why he uses the tactic of destroying the family unit. This command is not just given to church leaders. It is to every Christian. Because he commanded us to love the vulnerable and to suffer with them. They are suffering, suffer with them. They are crying, cry with them. This work is given to us because we are God's hands and feet. It's time for the church also to come up. Welcome to Reclaiming Hope Training. My, my name is Fungo David and I'm an instructor uh, with Reclaiming Hope. Uh, I'm not alone. I'm working with, with my sister uh, in this episode. Please, can you introduce yourself? Thank you, my brother. My name is Sasha Esther. I also am an instructor in Reclaiming Hope. Thank you, Esther. Uh, today we are going to start our first episode, which is Life in the Biblical Foundation. Yes, as we are talking about child protection and a reclaiming hope, we shall have seven sessions or episodes. And we are starting with, as he has said, we are starting with our first episode. Stay tuned. Thank you, Esther. Uh, in order to understand why we need to protect children, we need to know the value uh, of every human life as God uh, created and designed it. Yes, you can't protect something that you don't know. We need first to know how we came into existence before you protect. Yeah, it's true. Uh, if we don't have, uh, if we don't understand why we need to protect children, you may not have an agency to protect it. Uh, once we are done with the lesson of today, I hope you'll have the fire into your hearts to have the desires of helping the vulnerable people around you. And in weeks to come, we shall, have, we shall discuss the practical ways on how to go about it. Thank you, Esther. Uh, let's go uh, deep to, to, uh, to know uh, who, is, who is a vulnerable person, who is a child, and let us now start laying a foundation on life. As we are to lay the foundation, I have a question for you, my brother. How did the world come into existence? Uh, I have heard stories uh, from my friends, my grandma, even my grandfather. He told me that the stones crushed and a human, a human being came into, into being. And others say the, uh, God created. So, but the truth we shall, we, shall see, we shall see the truth as we go ahead with our session. Oh, thank you, instructor. For me, my grandfather told me we came from apes. But I kept on asking myself, why am, we, why am I not an ape? Like the way we came. Could you be having the right answer for me? Uh, I know that's God who created everything yes. on earth. Uh, let's go through uh, Genesis 1 and see. Uh, what God created and on which days, and see and get the truth about our life. Uh, our viewer, I request you to, uh, to open Genesis chapter 1 and see how God uh, created things uh, on earth. We see that God created everything in six days and he rested on the seventh day. Uh, when God created everything, he said everything is good. Until he created Adam. When God created Adam, he said it is, not a, it is not good for Adam to be alone. So that means it's not good for humans to be alone. God created us to need each other. So when you're alone, you miss someone to depend on. For example, you'll be missing friendship, encouragement from a friend, love from a friend. So who is that that God created for Adam to keep him? Uh, God had a very good plan uh, to make things better. And God took Adam to sleep and he created uh, something special uh, from him. But what's that special thing that God created for Adam? God created another human being for Adam. That is Eve. God created Eve to come along with Adam 
uh, to love each other, to be a, a companion to each other. The, the way God created Eve is different uh, from the way God created Adam. God uh, used uh, uh, Adam's rib to create Eve. Just like Adam was created by the soil. This time around, God didn't use the soil. He picked uh, a part of Adam's body. And this part is a very, very important on the life of a human being. This part uh, protects uh, the body organs. That's a rib and, and the heart. So it, sh it shows us that this past, these two people are to be together, are to move together, are to help each other so that they live a happy life. Oh, thank you. It's nice to hear such words coming from a man like you. Yes, it, it's, it is what God did and what he said. Well, so once she was given life, they were told to be fruitful. Do you agree with me? Yes. It, uh, I want to tell you that God's creation was so nice. God created, uh, God, God created Adam and, and created Eve when they, were, when, they, when they came together. Everything was beautiful. These people looked uh, nice to each other until the sin entered the world. When the sin entered the world, everything changed. When the sin entered the, the world, uh, it, it came because of the disobedience of Eve and Adam. Okay. So it is sin that destroyed the unity, the family unity, the way God had designed it. Okay. Let me discuss. As after God creating Adam and Eve, he told them to be fruitful. So I would like to take you in the life of a human being. Because Adam and Eve, after them being created, they were put in the Garden of Eden to take over, to take control, to have dominion of every creature that God had created. But he didn't give them the ability to create the life of the person inside the man's womb. I know God, form, uh, God uh, forms a child inside the mother's womb. And it is something that is so interesting. When a child is, is, when a child is growing uh, in the mother's womb, needs protection so uh, this protection needs uh, adults who are there let's say when your husband and your wife when your husband need to protect your wife who is pregnant so that um, there's the something that is growing in lives a happy life so you want to tell me that child protection starts from the womb automatically the 15th day the child is already uh, developing, so needs uh, needs protection uh, from those days. Okay, so step one, before a child is born, so many is put in place, the skin, the hair, the hair color, the DNA, the sex of the baby, and all our genes are immediately formed. Once the human being and you know, the that human being inside the mother's womb it's not the father or the mother who puts whatever that takes place inside of her it's all about god's plan at 15 days before the mother or the woman knows that she's pregnant the brain waves of that person inside her is already activating did you know that yes i did it's only god who can create such an incredible uh, uh, thing God creates, God unites uh, that human life and, and gives it to us. For us, we are to just give a maximum protection so that this person lives a happy life. It is God who does everything in that mother's womb. And that person is already a, a, a human being, even if she is still or is still in the mother's womb. And, and that person, uh, who, is in the, who is in the womb has a soul that will live forever and has the body that will die one day. So we need to protect the soul that will live forever. Okay, thank you. In the second month of the pregnancy, the heart of that tiny woman starts beating, the fingerprints, the toes start developing. Then the third month, the face of that, of that baby is complete. In the fourth month, 
the ball movement this one mothers outside there they know what i mean when a child makes four months the the baby starts rotating the ones outside there you know what i'm talking about then the fifth month the child inside you or the human being inside you makes a half kilogram then the sixth month the immune system starts developing in the seventh month the person inside you starts crying starts um, seeing then the hiccup also develops then in the eighth month that person inside you runs out of space then in the ninth month automatically obviously that person comes out i love the science how uh, how they tell us about the developing a uh, child in the mother's womb who needs protection so uh, children are a gift to us from god we need to protect uh, this child uh, very well because when, when when you get a gift you don't buy it it's for free but it needs a, mas a maximum care so that the person who gave it to you feels happy with you and uh, that's how god blesses you uh, more with what you want in life exactly thank you for that advice and let me tell you this my brother there are some women outside there all girls outside there they carry out abortions i've told you that a person at 15 days of conception that person inside you the brain wave starts developing but you find a woman aborting and says it was only blood my dear viewers however much it was blood that was the soul and the body that god had already created inside you and had better plans for you so whoever carries out an abortion has carried out what we call child sacrifice it is sad uh, to kill the life that god has plans for let's think of uh, this life god that god has plans for these children are given life by god and god has perfect future for them so our work is to keep them uh, healthy to direct them to train them because god has given us children uh, to keep them for a while for, uh, in that process of keeping them is uh, we need to train them to direct them to show them love to show them care so that uh, these people understands who is their creator thank you and we've known that these are gifts to us but you find some people who have the responsibility who are responsible for these children and god has entrusted us with these children for only 18 years but you find other people throwing them away on the streets or others giving giving others to raise them for them what do you say about that it is sad uh, for for, uh, for us seeing children uh, leaving that stage but remember uh, for us we we are all equal uh, before god uh, just like uh, you see when you, when you see a coin of 500 shilling printed in 2012 and the one printed in 2023 these two coins look different the one 2012 uh, looks dirty and worn out but the one 2023 looks new shiny but what's the difference uh actually they look different because the other one is new this one is old but they all serve the same purpose i can use the new one to buy water el gone of 500 you can also use the old one to buy spice also for 500 but the same purpose by the way you were talking of the coins but what about these two children the one of the, the 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 first son of the president's wife and the son of an of a woman a poor woman deep down there in the village in a very muddy house and rented one what do you say about those children as i told you uh, we are all equal before god and we are created uh, with intentional purpose and our life doesn't have anything with what to do to earn it we are all uh, equal to each other 
let it be uh, the, uh, the present son, let it be the child in the village deep, we are all uh, equal before God. We need to be treated equally. So you want to tell me that God loves every one of us, no matter what status? Of course, of course. That's good to hear. Uh, how does it help us as we are talking about child protection? Um, okay, it is a, no, actually it is everything. Everything? Yes. Yes, it's all about knowing and seeing the value, like the, the, the value of life as God created and designed it. We can't see the value and the preciousness of children to us. They are all important. No matter she is disabled or he is disabled, he is a child. You have to love him as a child. Don't discriminate. They all have the bodies and the souls. And remember, the bodies will die one day, but the souls will remain. And whoever that God created, every human being that God created, has a value and a purpose. So we have to love these children, no matter which status they run. Thank you. Uh, Next, I want, to, I want to take you through a few questions. I want to understand something I need to learn from you. Yes. And maybe it may help our viewers also to learn from it. Uh, how do others see you? They see me as a good girl. Really? But how do you see yourself? I see myself as someone important to be in the future. Okay. What is your earliest memory of feeling loved and who was there for you? Uh, the time I was taken to Kampala, the first time for me to go to Kampala. But have you ever, have you ever been hurt by an adult? Yes. Who is that? My mom. What is your earliest memory of being uh, afraid and who, 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 who was there to help you to overcome it? The time I saw our neighbor uh, holding a panga to cut the wife. Oh, that one was sad. Uh, have you ever failed uh, alone and out of option? Yes. And who was there to support you? My mother. Oh. Yes. Okay, that's nice. What's your understanding of God? I know God as someone who loves me because I don't pay for the air that I breathe in. Oh, that's so interesting. Yes. I want to take you in another, um, another sex section of questions. But this time around, I want you to pretend to be a vulnerable child who is helpless. And still, I'm going to ask you the very questions. Don't think I'm going to, I'm going to bring you questions. Okay, I'm ready to But ask. this time around, answer in the in, in in the state of a vulnerable person also okay yeah how do you see yourself i see as someone who is useless oh but how do others see you they see me as a chocolate around oh you're neglected so much oh no that's sad what's your earliest memory of be of 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 being loved i know right now you're in the state of a, or you're in a vulnerable state but now it's similar at least when you uh, during the during the time uh, you, you were produced, uh, I know the parents uh, came together to support you. So uh, from that time, uh, did you feel loved at any point? I even don't remember when I was last loved. Oh, have you ever been hurt by an adult? Eh, the whole community has settled me. Oh, what was your earliest memory of being afraid? The time when my mother and father died. But who was there to help you? Some of the clan members. Oh. Have you ever, have you ever felt alone and left without option? Yes, even right now. Oh no. Uh, do you feel to have to, to, to have a good future? If someone can help me, but I don't see because you see me the way I am. I doubt whether I have any future. So what is your understanding about God? Uh, God forgot about me. Why did he make my parents to die? Oh no, it's sad. 
Um, now, Esther, I want you to, you come back, you leave that state of being vulnerable. I want you to come back to a normal state. Um, I want, I want us to, to, to go through this. Can you guide us, uh, can you guide the viewer uh, to, to pray for this nation? Uh, our viewers, this is the moment that we need to pray for our children. We need to pray for the people who are ready to help, to bring the hope among the children who have lost hope, the families that have separated. They need to come together because our children have to, have to grow up in a, family, in a family as God set it in the beginning. Uh, we need to take time. We pray for the, uh, for the lives of the children on the street. We pray for the sick. We pray for the lame. And we pray for people with good hearts to take a hand of supporting such children that are on the street, such children that are staying away, away from their parents. God may, they may also have a sense of saying they are made in God's image. Thank you, Esther. Uh, now this week, our viewer, well, I, would, I would like to request you uh, to go out there and try to find out who is a vulnerable person in your community. Uh, find that person, meet that person, talk to that person and see how uh, that person is treated, how that person feels. And it will help you uh, to, uh, to, to expand on your understanding uh, on this lesson. Thank you for listening to us. Stay tuned. Next time or next week, we shall discuss together the family unit and learn how God designed it. See you next time. Love you. Thank you. Bye.